Reverend. Whilst you are standing. You know, I repented several times before God. Discussing with him Pentecost. Talking to him about what he did. Thinking about the day the Holy Spirit came. And I, I repented before God. I was even coming to church. I repented twice coming to church about the same thing. You see, anything that is alive will make a sound. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Anything that is alive will make a sound. When the Bible says, clap your hands, all ye people, shout unto God with a voice of triumph, it means you are alive. There is no politeness in the presence of God. You don't come with style when you come to God. You understand? You, you, you don't, you know, when you come to the presence of God, you are not an apostle. You are not a prophet. You are not an evangelist. You are not a pastor. You are not a teacher. You are not a businessman. You are not a professor. You are not an old person. You are a son. You are excited to be in the presence of your father. You become animated. I understand. We have been too polite in the presence of God. You guys, when we worship, I want to hear your voices on the mics. Not, not only singing. I want to hear you. I want to hear you say, Lord, I worship you. I bless you. I glorify you. I uplift your name. You are God and there is no other. You are alive. That's why I am alive. You are alive. That's why I am alive. What? 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 Because we are staying. It's because of you. Listen, Bazalwan. Listen, Bakawili. You get this, you see this moment here. You get it once a week. Once a week. For two hours. This here. And when it comes to the Holy Spirit, it must always be an experience. It must always be an experience in the presence of the Holy Spirit. And the power and flow of the Holy Spirit, the presence, the tangibility of the Spirit. Read your Bible. Read, read your Bible. The Bible says they were in one place. We are in one place. They were in one accord. They had one heart and one mind. We are in one place and one mind. They were praying. We prayed before we came here. Why would the Holy Spirit not come? Eh, eh. From today, relax up polite in the presence of God. To be nice in the presence of the Lord. Are you You know, uh -uh. We, are we are going to sing to the Father like David 
did. David was criticized for being animated and the one who criticized him David said to her not for thy day I'm going to be worse Hallelujah. do you hear me brethren we are not going to be beaten by people who don't know God, who know how Amen. to bring the presence of their spirits hey, into I, the place. They play drums. They chant. They play drums. They chant. Until the spirits that they are chanting to come. That's how the spirit world works. You enter into a connect with the one who worships. Who is like our God? Who can be compared to our God? Who can we compare to the God we serve? You can afford to be polite outside. But here, you are with your brothers and sisters. Nobody is going to criticize you. Nobody is going to criticize you. Let me tell you, the day I realized the way I preach change, is because I decided I'm going to teach it the way I feel it. I hear what I'm saying. I decided I am imitating nobody. I'm not going to be intimidated by anybody. I am going to let God make me feel it. I will let God make me see it. And I will preach it the way I see it. And therefore, when you praise God, you don't need to be intimidated by your neighbor. Praise Him the way you feel Him. Praise Him the way you feel Him. Bless Him the way you feel Him. Respond the way He touches you. It's Pentecost Sunday. And so today, we shoot, all cylinders. We shoot with all cylinders. Because we need the Holy Spirit. How many of you realize we need the Holy Spirit? I have told people many times that I have come to learn there are things I may never preach to solve your problem. But if and when if and when you begin to sense the presence of the Holy Spirit and you respond to Him, He will give you something no preaching will give you. Because we've got to prove to people it's not us. It's not good preaching. It's, it's not how you put your words together even if it's important. It is the working of the Spirit of the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. Raise your hands, God's people, and bless his holy name, for he is good, his mercies endures forever, he is good, his mercies endure forever. 
Praise the Lord, God's people. Raise your hands to Him, for He is Lord. Praise the Lord, God's people. Raise your hands to Him, for He is Lord. For he is good, his mercies and joys forever. 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 Your voice, God's people. Raise your voice, God's people. Come on, raise your voices to Him. Oh, raise your voice, God's people. For He is Lord. hands God's people oh 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 raise your hands God's people yeah. raise your hands God's people for he is enjoy forever his lord his mercy is enjoy forever his lord his god oh his god oh his lord he is the master Come on, somebody give God a mighty shout of victory. A mighty shout of victory. A mighty shout of victory. Listen, Bazalwan. It's so easy to compose a song when you are in the spirit. Very easy. Because the words come to you and they fit the sound. It's, a, it's that simple. Are you with me? The words come. You feel the words. You don't sing with your mind. You draw something from what he is giving you. Hey, it's been good to have you today. And I'm sure the Lord has spoken to you. Well, let's meet again next week. Remember, 9 o'clock, we have our service in the building. 9.30 we go live. So I would like you to help me. Just like, share, subscribe, and let's get the gospel to go viral.
We want Jesus Christ to really be Lord. Until next time, from me, bye-bye.